For over a century, Scania has been driving the world of transport solutions. With over 50,000 employees in over 100 countries, they have built over 1 million trucks and buses and continue to power ahead in an ever-changing landscape. But what drives their success? And what keeps Scania at the forefront of innovation and engineering? Filmed over the course of a year, this six-part series will focus on Scania operations in Scotland as they build a new multi-million pound base in the central belt. We'll meet the people who are integral to the progress of the company, from the managers that steer the ship to the technicians that care for every vehicle and the valued customers that rely on their knowledge and expertise. Welcome to the Scania family. On today's episode... Mark Oliver gives us an insight into the coach and bus output of Scania. We hear from McLanican Transport and Ian Craig Hollage on how Scania has impacted their company identities. East Scotland Acting Area Services Manager John Ramsey heads to Dundee to visit Acting General Manager Ian Fleming, who also happens to be receiving a visit from Ian Senior of CJ Lang Transport. But first, to Scania Eurocentral, where construction is complete and the site is preparing to host a very special event. After nearly a year, Scania Eurocentral is finally up and running. Whilst the site isn't fully operational, the workshop has been transformed to host its first ever event for COP26. So the purpose today is um, to host our Net Zero conference on the back of COP26 and it really allows us to showcase what Scania is all about. It really is a momentous occasion to open what will be probably the biggest Scania depot in Europe and to open a depot with fantastic sustainability credentials. Uh, just all coming together at once is just a, it's going to be a fantastic day. The event also marks an important time for the company to come together and celebrate the completion of the new centre. Today we're at Scania Eurocentral, so I've been a, a long time coming, uh, two and a half years. But as you can see today, 8th of November, this is the official opening of the, the, the site. And I'm pretty sure you can see around the back, it's starting to show a bit of interest. It's all been well, we go live three weeks today. Yeah, this, this, is the start of it. this is the start of it now. It's finally, it's finally come that we're, Scania Eurocentral is on the map. So, as we can see, up at the front here, we've got the, the official openings uh, ceremony. That's where the stage is going to be, hosted by Christian Levine, who's the, the CEO of Scania and Trayton. Uh, James Armstrong will be doing a speech, and Mr Colburn, James, will be doing a, a speech later on to officially open up, the, up the, the facility. And in some of the workstations, they've just got just a, a guest area. Over at the back, we've got the simulators, so we're going to get a shot at the simulators later on. We'll get a wee bit of a shot on them. Uh, a, lot, a lot of futuristic stuff over here just now. So this is a trial from Germany just now, which is just basically showing you the future of what Scania's got uh, ready to come on board. In the midst of the COP26 event, Jasper is given time to reflect on the completion of the new headquarters, and more importantly, how it has made a significant contribution towards Scania's environmental commitment to the transport industry and its own employees, which it calls driving the shift. It's got everything. I mean, it's got absolutely everything. We've got an environmental station behind us. We've got a massive 360 degree yard. Uh, as far as sustainability goes, we've got solar power on the roof. We've got the light at night time is incredible. The amount of light at night time. And just, just now, it's a dark, druk at Scottish days, we call it. Uh, and it's still so light just now. I mean, you can work on this absolutely no problem. Yeah, the person coming to us earlier has said this would be a fantastic wedding venue. Big surprise I've had all night, but Jamie's delighted about that, you know, it's going to be next. But more serious, my family are in the building, you are Scania family. You're a part yeah, of I, th I think for, for, the new, for the new wave of technicians, I mean, we're current technicians just now, we've got some younger guys, some older guys, government of, of the, the place we're built here, you know, and just what their future holds. You know, these guys are going to be running this place for the next 25 years, and who knows what one will be the, the GM, the dealer director. Um, sorry, Mr. Armstrong, the, the UK director, you know, it's the, these guys have got ambition to be, to go up the tree there. And now, after months of hard work and anticipation, it's finally time for Scania Eurocentral to have its official opening. Yeah. 
When I interview people for a job, I'm not interviewing them for a job, I'm interviewing them for a career, especially apprentices. We want our apprentices to come here and start here and finish their career with Scania. And with the, the sustainability of the planet, that's not, I don't think it's unachievable. Just outside Glasgow is Uddingston, famed not only for the Tunnock's Bakery, but also McLanick and Transport. Regional rental executive Emma Jackson is paying the site a visit to maintain the client-company relations Scania prides itself upon. Today we're in Uddingston at McLanick and Transport. The main contact I have in here is Damien. I've known him for 14 years. My role on a daily basis is looking after the customers. That's a priority. Making sure that all the vehicles are compliant including all paperwork, servicing, MOTs, tyres, just anything to obviously keep them on the road to make sure that the customers don't have downtime. The business started, was founded with my dad in 1984. He did see a gap in the market, he knew uh, he'd, he'd, he'd been in transport before and he thought uh, that was his, his, his calling. We transport uh, all fresh and frozen goods, uh, a lot of foodstuffs, pharmaceuticals, a, a, a really varied uh, bag of, of goods that we carry. I've always known um, the Scania brand because that was the first truck that my dad ever had was a Scania. I, I think he just went for that model because he knew he could, he, he could work it the, the hardest to be honest with you. Uh, it's because of the relationships we have at Scania, I think, that have really pushed us to go in 100% Scania because I, I have had other manufacturers in the past and they just can't meet the, uh, our expectations. I've never met, but with Scania, you're, they're always in the money. I didn't realise that the role when I started as a junior clerk, I would get to the position that I'm in. I think I'm a good example. A Scania is a progression that they do really make scope for people. You can start in one position and end up at the other end. I do love that about them. Nearby, in the village of Schott's, coach and bus manager Mark Oliver is at Bruce's Coaches. While Scania is best known for their trucks, its production of premium coaches is a key output for clients across Scotland. Hello, my name's Mark Oliver. I'm the Scania Great Britain UK bus and coach fleet sales manager. We're here today at Bruce Coaches, who's one of Scania's National Express operators and have been a proud supporter of the Scania Great Britain product from then on. I'm the fourth generation in my family um, involved with automotive and definitely heavy vehicles. Uh, start off with my great grandfather, my grandfather and my father all had trucks and I started my career working as a technician and then progressed through to working for Scania. Morning. Morning, John. Morning. Really grew up with the Scania brand as it's progressed through to today. Um, my background and also my interests and hobby. Um, I've got, uh, got, got a young family and we restore and look after vintage vehicles uh, within the family as well. So uh, it is all very much tied together. Uh, I've known John Bruce Senior and John Bruce Junior for, for, for many years um, and, and a great advocate of the Scania brand. These guys actually did take the lead vehicle uh, that um, we approached National Express with uh, some years ago and uh, they're a cracking advocate for the company. They took the first big order of nine vehicles as an independent operator and they've been a continued valued customer of Scania since. The nice thing about working for Scania, you will see your colleagues that you've worked alongside many, many years ago um, come up in far and wide different roles and different continents. As we say and we joke with the guys in Solitalia, it's not such a big company. It's nice to know that uh, you, know, you, you still have those ties, have those communications, have the laughs and a drink and a beer and, and, and snaps and the likes with, with, with colleagues over the years. Ian Craig Haulage has been providing top quality timber haulage services to Scotland for nearly 50 years. We hear from director Kevin Craig about how family has shaped the company. I'm Kevin Craig, uh, the oldest of three brothers that run Ian Craig Haulage. We're a, a specialist construction haulage company 
that specialises in brick cranes delivering construction products throughout the UK. My father started the business in 1973 with a, an Atkinson Border tractor unit and he was mainly hauling timber from the Greensmouth docks and the company has just developed as we went along throughout the years. Oh, there is some Scania's in it. Not only does Ian Craig Hollage rely on Scania for their business operations, but brothers Kevin and Alan also harbour a passion for collecting vintage Scania models. They wanted to have a collection of Scania's, so we've got a one series Scania, two series Scania, three series Scania, two four series, and then this would be the R series, so it's like right through the years of Scania. With, with the vintage vehicles, it, it, it just became a passion or a disease, as, as somebody says. <laughs> Amongst the collection, the Golden Griffin, purchased for the company's 40th anniversary, it was a particularly fond memory for Alan. There was a trip to Sweden organised for MD that bought the Golden Griffin. So people from Scotland and everything else were all flown to the same hotel, then we all left on the same flight. We all left from the same flight and we landed in Sweden. Uh, we'd done a, there was a, a track day, so we were, it was organised that you got to race cars around the track and everything else. It was, a, it was one of the best trips ever that Scania ever did like, and it was, it, was only, it was only people that bought a Golden Griffin that got to go on it. We're very highly respected when we go to truck shows with the vehicles eh, all over. Obviously, COVID has affected that in the last two years. For, for this year, because Truck Fest is quite late on, normally it's August, it's quite late on into September, so it's Scottish weather. So, can't be guaranteed, but we're taking the, we're, we're taking the full collection of the Scania. So, we have the one, two, three, the four, and the Golden Griffin of the Scania range, plus one of our working trucks over there, too. So. It's a sunny day in Dundee, and Acting Area Services Manager John Ramsey is heading east to check in on one of the four depots he's responsible for. A long-time member of the Scania team, there's never a dull day on the road for John. So the role I'm in at the minute is ASM role, which is Area Service Manager for Scotland East. So basically looking after the four depots um, for operational and performance, really. Checking um, that the dealers basically do what they need to do keeping in DOS health and safety uh, and checking accounts and just making sure that we follow the what we call the DP process, dealer performance. Just make sure everything's in place. The beer keg. That's the most important thing for that there. I'm Ian Fleming, General Manager, Scania Dundee. Quite recently promoted into the job, just as little as two weeks. Um, before that, workshop controller, started off as a technician, worked my way up to foreman, now uh, general manager. So. I always wanted to be a mechanic, not necessarily in lorries, but something to do with tools. I was always dismantling my cycle bikes, my motor bikes, everything like that, just, and it just rolled into wanting to be a mechanic. So. My name is Ian Fleming. Uh, I currently work for CJ Lang and Sun Limited Dundee doing the distribution for SPAR throughout the whole of Scotland. I've come down today to collect the combination that you can see sitting behind us which is a, a tractor unit and a double deck trailer that we've had into the facility here at Dundee for service. Hi Biggie, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thanks, how are you? Fantastic day today, isn't it? Oh no, it's great, yeah. it's lovely. Just in to find out how we are with it. The link I have with Scania is quite unique in the fact that uh, my son Ian Fleming, of the same name, has now just been promoted into position of the general manager for Dundee. He's honed his skills, if you want, from push bikes, motor bikes, eh, second hand old cars during the weekends or when I was off on holiday, and Ian was always keen to come with me. Yeah, he just took me along, you know, just sat in the passenger seat and just seen the world. <laughs> Obviously, when the opportunity came along to potentially go into an apprenticeship as a, a heavy goods mechanic, he grasped that and you know, as I say, the rest is history on that side of things. You know, Scania is a premium product. We can look at cost because you're dealing with potentially accountants who look at money. But I look at that and go, you've got longevity, you've got resale value. It's the whole package that goes with that. The maintenance, the backup, if things break down, things like that, we know we've got 
the right quality individuals that we can call on to make sure that we get the right things done. Once general manager for the depot, being back at Dundee has given John a space to reflect on how Scania has shaped his career over the past 44 years. I turned 60 this year, so I've got a few years left and I'm still excited to work for the business. Uh, I'm 100% Scania, always have been. I've worked on Scania since I was 16, believe it or not. Um, served my time on Scania's. I just hope it keeps going because it's a brilliant company. And I say I've worked on Scania's all my days and I could, I can't see me working anywhere else. On the final episode of Scania Family, it's Christmas Jumper Day as Scania Eurocentral fully opens for business. We take a tour around Top Scotty's recycling plant, Hamilton Recycling and Waste. It's up to Inverness to meet the Duncan brothers, who are in charge of Scania operations on the northeast coast. And a family surprise brings both client and Scania team closer together.